And when you look at multiplying, basically what I want you guys to understand is, let's call this a times 10 to the n. And this is going to be b times 10 to the m. Right? So it really doesn't matter what my values are when I'm multiplying scientific notation. All I'm simply going to do is do a times b times 10 to the n plus m. The adding of the n plus m comes from our properties of exponents. If you guys remember, when we multiply two exponents, we add the powers. Right? Do you guys kind of remember that? CLC? So um, then we just multiply our two front numbers. So in this case, I need to multiply 7.8 times 1.7. So going back to what we did on our first test, we're going to multiply those two numbers. So I can do 7 times 8, which is 56. 7 times 7, which is 49, um, plus 5 is going to be 54. 0 as my place value. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 7 is going to be 7. Then I add the two rows. 6 plus 0 is 6. 4 plus 8 is 12. Um, 5 plus 1 is 6. Plus 4 is 13. I count how many decimal points are to the right, or how many place values are to the right of my decimal points, which is 2. So therefore, my answer is 13.26. How'd I get? 4 plus 8 is 12. And then I carried over 1. All right, remember when we're multiplying, my, when I multiplied without any decimal points, I had 1,326, right? But then what we do to determine, remember when we're multiplying and add, when we're adding and subtracting with decimal points, we just keep the decimal point in a straight line, right? But when we're doing multiplication, we count how many place values are to the right of our decimal, and then that's where we move our decimal point over. Think about this. One t basically, this is 7 and part of a whole, and 1 and part of a whole. It wouldn't make sense for 7 times 1 to give us 1,000, right? It wouldn't make sense for it to be 100. 7 times 1 is just 7, and then you can see these parts of a whole. So basically, it would make sense when it's right around 13.26. Make sense? So now I have, then I add my two exponents, which would be 3 plus 5, which is 8. But now I have an issue. Uh, Max, this is not what you need to be doing. You can take that out of your ear right now. So is this in scientific notation? No. No, because I have 13, which is greater than 10. Now remember, I, when I, if I was going to write this out, it would be 13, 2, 6, and I'd do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Would everybody agree with me? But now I need to put the decimal point over here. So I'm adding an extra movement of place value. So instead of doing 8, I'm going to say this is 1.3 times 10 to the 9th, right? Because I'm adding one more place value that I have to move. Okay.